People, as you can see, your boy had to get some covering because the rain started playing games. Just like how we just watched a game get played at DKR. What a day, right? Orange and white game just happened and it did not disappoint. And it's April, but it felt like the 4th of July because of all the fireworks popping off on the field. Now, funny enough, the team without Quinn Ewers and Arch Manning did not win, but they were able to make some plays, though. I will say that when it comes to the quarterbacks. The vibes were immaculate at DKR. As you can see, B. John Robinson pulled up. Marquise Goodwin also brought the energy, and that energy turned up after this play. A tip pass by Ethan Burke led to Cedar Creek grad Alfred Collins snagging the interception, and he took it back to the crib. Look at T-Sweat getting into the celebration, too. Then Team White would respond, though, thanks to Manning, who puts a nice arch on this deep ball to DeAndre Moore Jr., a flat-out dime from 70 yards for the first offensive touchdown of the game. Didn't have to wait long for the second one, though. Look at true freshman Trey Owens stepping up in the pocket and firing this laser to Thatcher Milton. An impressive day from QB3, but it's what Coach Sark expected. I think everybody probably got a glimpse of Trey Owens today. And, I, you know, not to take a shot at those that, that put stars on quarterbacks, but I trust our evaluation. And we could probably recruit any quarterback in the country, uh, but Trey Owens is really talented. That throw was a prime example of his talent, linking up with fellow freshman Ryan Wingo, who had an even bigger play later in the game. But remember, I said there were fireworks. Well, Arch kept popping them. This time, Alabama transfer Isaiah Bond got in on the fun. He burnt the secondary like how I did my toast this morning. That score gave them the lead, Team White, I should say. But I'm telling y'all, this freshman class, they're legit, all right? Owens finds Wingo for their second touchdown connection to give Team Orange the lead back with 30 seconds left to go. So, last chance for Arch on a Hail Mary, but that gets picked off by Jelani McDonald. Great game on both sides with Team Orange coming out on top by one point. After the game, Coach Sark had only positive things to say about what he saw offensively, particularly Arch Manning's three touchdown performance. The biggest thing I, I saw from Arch was something that we kind of really harped on with him about a week and a half ago about just dialing into, you know, playing the play, keeping your eyes up, um, you know, and, and I think I talked about this last week. When, when he gets himself in trouble at times at quarterback is when he relies on his athleticism, which he has a ton of, and he can do. And there's times today I blew the whistle on him. I don't know if he was really happy with me that I blew it, but he's non-contact. But when he keeps his eyes up and steps up in the pocket, and, you know, he can deliver those balls down the field the way we like to play. And 